Welcome back, everybody. In this video, we're going to be going over the Mega Rayquaza makeup event, officially called the Mega Rayquaza Special Raid event. A confusing name for an event that is not entirely clear. I've seen a lot of information going around about this event that I can't be sure is accurate. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to separate what we know for sure from what might happen. And I'm going to give you my two best guesses for how this event might work. But first, let's start with what we know for sure, including the bonuses. So we do know that we are going to get a remote raid pass limit increased to 20 starting on Friday, August 2nd at 5 p.m. to Saturday, August 3rd at 8 p.m. And then we also know that there's going to be a free timed research available to everybody. If you can complete that research, you will earn yourself a meteorite. If you don't know, you need a meteorite to teach Rayquaza Dragon Ascent, and Rayquaza has to know Dragon Ascent to be able to Mega Evolve. So meteorites are key here. You definitely want to complete this if you can. Now, supposedly, these are not going to be elite raids. So let's take a look at that part of the announcement here. You can see it says Mega Rayquaza will be appearing in raids around the world. Again, it doesn't say elite raids. And Mega Rayquaza will hatch from raid eggs, not elite raid eggs, in raid hours at the following times. Raid hours, capitalized there. That's interesting. We'll talk about what that might mean in a second. And then the times we are going to see those happen at are 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 6 p.m. And notice it does not say here that they are in person only. So again, that matches up with that bonus showing that Niantic's intent here is probably to have these raids be remotable, meaning other trainers should be able to invite you to their raids and you should be able to invite other trainers to your raids to use a remote raid pass, which should make this Mega Rayquaza easier to take down and make it easier for people in rural places or places that do not have a big Pokemon Go community to be able to complete these raids. Now, what isn't clear here is whether this is going to function more like elite raids that are remotable or function more like a regular raid hour. I think those are our two most likely scenarios. So let's break down what those would each mean so that you can have an idea of how this day might work given one scenario or the other. So if this is functioning like an elite raid day, but remotable, then what we're gonna see is all the same gyms as elite raids having Mega Rayquaza. So that means not every gym, just the elite gyms or ones that are on areas that are tagged as green space in their geo data. It also means we will get one hatch per gym and Ray will be there for 40 minutes once that egg hatches. And of course, because they're hinting that this should be remotable, then it should also be able to be remotable. So that's the thing that would change from the elite raid day. But because it says raid hour in that announcement with capital letters, that does kind of hint at it maybe functioning like three separate raid hours on that one day. So if that was the case, it would mean that Mega Rayquaza would be in all or nearly all the gyms, not just the elite ones or the geotagged as green spaces ones. It also means you could get two hatches per gym, so 25 minutes plus a five minute cooldown. Then the egg hatches again and you get another 25 minutes to raid it again in the same gym. And of course, raid hours are always remotable, so this would be the same. Now, the other thing to talk about here is the difficulty of the raid. Now, Mega Rayquaza has only been out twice before, previously in GoFest 2023, and of course, that last Elite Raid Day that we just had for it. And both times, it has been a T6 or a Tier 6 raid. So I imagine this time it will be the same. So that means it will be just as difficult to take down as it was the previous two times. Now, there's also a third option here, which is just that they take options from both of these and kind of mash them together. Ultimately, we don't really know what's going to happen. There has never been an event like this before. There's no template for this. Now, what I'm going to do personally is set my expectations that this is going to function like the Elite Raid Day, but be remotable. And then if it ends up being like a bunch of raid hours, well, that's just going to be an excellent bonus for the day. One way you might be able to tell is when you get up in the morning, if you look on Pogo or in Campfire and you see those Elite Raid eggs popping up early, then it probably is going to function like the Elite Raid Day, but be remotable. If you don't see them, then I don't know. It could either be that it's going to function like raid hours or that something went wrong on the back end again. Hard to say there. But if you see them spawning early, it's probably going to function like an elite raid day, but be remotable. Now, the last thing to talk about here is whether Mega Rayquaza is worth it. And it absolutely is. It is the most powerful attacker in Pokemon Go right now based on its raw base stats and having the most powerful move in Pokemon Go right now, Dragon Ascent. It hits super hard. Definitely a good one to have. 
Another good reason to have this one is because it functions like the primals. So Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza together make up the Weather Trio, and the way their boosts work is a little bit different than the Megas, so normal Megas boost their own typings, but the Weather Trio boost by weather typing. So Mega Rayquaza boosts everything that is boosted in windy weather. That includes Flying, Psychic, and Dragon. These are the only three that will boost three typings. The maximum amount for any other Mega is two, and some of them only only boosting one. So this is definitely a Pokemon you want to get your hands on if you can. All right, everybody, that's all the information I have for you in this video. I know it's not super definitive, but I gave you my best guess as to the two possible options that could happen here. And I will say one more time, set your expectations that it's going to be remotable elite raids. And then if it ends up functioning like raid hours, that just makes the event even better. But right now, I want to say a big thank you to our mythical members, Fallman, Assassin Octopus, Body on a Planet, and Kate. Thank you to them for supporting the channel at the mythical level, as well as all of you who come watch the videos, hang out in the live streams, comment, chat, lurk, hit that like button. That is all super helpful. I'm very grateful for you all. I wish you much shiny luck on this Mega Rayquaza Makeup Raid Day event, and we'll see you in the next one, friends. Something incredibly funky.